If you're watching this video, then it means I've successfully concluded my third experiment to see if I could get around the problems I have with my Sony a6400 overheating when I shoot in 4K. I bought the Sony camera because in reviews I saw on YouTube and read, it said that Sony had solved the overheating problem. And apparently it did if you shoot you know, in a lower resolution. But I bought it to shoot in 4K, that's why I got it. And it turns out either I missed something in the fine print or people weren't aware of it yet. But if you shoot in 4K, you get overheating problems. The problems manifest themselves differently for me than most other people. I rarely, I think only once have had the camera just shut down, you know, and say, you got to turn this thing off. It's getting too hot. Usually what happens is I get stuttering. You know, I'll shoot a video. It'll look fine but it will play like this. And it's like, you know, like playing a video game at, you know, in eight frames per second, it's terrible. You can't post it. You just have to dump it and do it again. When I first got the Sony 6400, I didn't have a problem. I was just fiddling with the camera a lot. It was, it was really hard to make a video. I was learning, still learning the camera, editing and everything else. I was lucky if I could shoot one video and then it would take me a couple of days to get it up. I was doing maybe two or three videos a week. But as I got better with the camera, better with editing, and I started doing things more quickly, I thought I could put up a video every day, which I've managed to do now for close to six weeks. And one of the things I started to do was to minimize the time and make the best advantage of setups and stuff is to shoot two videos back to back. Instead of just shooting the one video I usually shot, I would shoot two. I'd shoot one and then I'd, you know, turn it off and wait for a little bit and get my notes for the second one. And then I'd shoot the second one. And that's when I started getting this stuttering problem. The only time I wouldn't get it is if, you know, I'd shoot one and something came up and I'd have to leave the room and I come back an hour later, I'd be fine. But if I just shot one uh, and sometimes transferred it over to the computer and then put the disc back in and shot the second one, I'd get the stuttering again. And that was a really annoying problem because I was trying to do things more quickly and more efficiently. And basically the camera was holding me back. So I did what you usually do. You look at YouTube, you watch all the videos, you read all the stories and, and basically the things that they suggested that I do, I was already doing. I use a dummy battery, the flaps open, the air's getting in there. You know, I don't have light directly on the camera. I'm not in sunlight. The camera actually, you know, didn't really feel all that warm. So I didn't know what was going on. I knew something was going on and I wasn't finding my answers on YouTube or on the internet. But one day I had an idea. I mean, there's two things at play here. There's the camera itself and there's the disc, the SD, the SD card. And I had, it was a couple of days ago, I'd, I'd shot a video and I, I felt all around the camera, bottom, top, sides to see just how, how hot does this thing feel? And it didn't feel hot at all. It felt you know, mildly warm. But anyway, I popped the SD card out and I'm looking at it and I thought, I don't know why, something popped in my mind. <laughs> I stuck it to my cheek like a skin test, like you would when you have a baby, you, you, you sprinkle the formula on your inside of your wrist because it's very sensitive skin there. And you can feel if it's too hot for the, the baby so you don't burn the baby's mouth. I mean, my kids are pushing 40, so, but I still remember this stuff. Anyway, I put it on my, my cheek and it felt really warm. I said, man, the disc is hot. Now I happen to have two of the same exact disc and I'll, I'll put their specs and the type in a, a link below in the discussion box. And it crossed my mind, what if I pull this one out and put the other one in, which is cool. Is it the camera that's overheating and causing a problem or is it the disc? So I went and I got my second disc, put that back in and I shot another video right away. You know, five minute delay. I didn't wait an hour or like 45 minutes like I used to. One time I waited 40 minutes and it's still, I got stuttering. So I put the, the second disc in, shot the second video, transferred both over to my computer and they were both fine, no stuttering. 
So then I did it again, no stuttering. And this is my third test. And if you're seeing it, like I said, that means I didn't get any stuttering because I got stuttering, I went to post it. Now, again, I'm, I don't mean to universalize this and say this is the solution for everybody's problem, but it's something to think about. For me, my problem shooting 4K with my A6400, and most of, most of my videos I shoot are 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, it's usually what I end up with plus five minutes because you know there's wastage, you repeat stuff, well, gaps and things like that. So if 10 minute video is gonna be 15 minutes long, 15 minute is virtually is 20, 20 is 25. I usually shoot around, you know, under, I try to keep it under 20 minutes. So two videos is roughly 40 minutes back to back. That was enough to trigger stuttering on my camera. But swapping a fresh disc in for the second shot, you know, turn the camera off, take the disc out, put the new disc in, turn the camera back on, get the refocus, everything set up and the zoom, and then go. No stuttering. Again, I'm not gonna say this will solve your problem. I'm not claiming this is the solution to the Sony 6400 problem. And there is a problem. I mean, I know that firsthand. And if you're watching this, you probably know it too. That's why you're watching the damn video. But for me, this is what worked. Not leaving the battery door open, not putting in a dummy battery. You know, I don't have a fan blowing on the thing or an ice pack or anything like that. I just have two identical discs that I use. I pull one out, set it aside, put the cooler one in, shoot the second video, and that seems to solve my problem. Hope you found this helpful. If you can subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, hit notification button so you know when I post new videos. And uh, I love my 6400, and you hope you do too. Thanks for watching.